Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For time purposes, we've already shuffled the deck, so let's get right into your reading, Libra. Now, in regards to your finances, you have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles could imply working in a group setting. For some of you guys, you may be experiencing having to come together with coworkers or uh, people around you in your work uh, workspace or in your business to be able to attain a goal. Uh, for others of you, it could be having to be tested um, in regards to working as a group or in a group setting. Uh, Three of Pentacles can also represent um, putting the work in, actually putting effort and dedication to what you're doing. So I see for some of you guys, it could it, it could actually represent having the opportunity that for the month of December, you're going to be experiencing having some type of recognition, recognition of some type of achievement or work and dedication that you've been putting. Perhaps for some of you guys, it could even represent, um, for some of you guys, it could even represent getting an incentive, bonuses, um, or get an increase in your pay. Now, in regards to communication with the element of air, you have the shadow side. So the shadow side, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. For others of you, you may be experiencing having to deal with um, situations that are not very ideal. Um, the shadow side is the representation of that of the devil. So the devil card could represent, uh, with communication, it could represent um, being a bit overprotective, uh, for some of you guys, it could be even experiencing um, difficulty in regards to communication with your partner um, or having a lot of um, misunderstandings because of feeling the need to overprotect. So for some of you, as an example, if you are dealing with a fire type of energy, fire energy uh, could represent a challenge for you for this month of December. Um, only because fire is very intense type of energy. And with the Capricorn or, sorry, not the Capricorn, with the Devil card, it could represent being almost like a jealousy, um, feeling or coming off as perhaps you're trying to be overprotective or protective in itself, but you're coming off as a very jealous person to your partner. So it could represent having um, having arguments and discussions because of that. Now, I do want to mention with the Three of Pentacles and the Shadow side, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing jealousy because there is a feeling of a third party or doubts perhaps are starting to linger in your mind. Now, the challenge here is the Wheel of the Year. So the Wheel of the Year is currently, Libra, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing change. Now, change is something that could be... Um, it could come in different ways, but I think that as a challenge, when we see the wheel of the year, it's almost like you're resisting change. So again, like I said, for those of you guys that have been experiencing difficulty in your relationship because of arguments, because misunderstandings, or because of jealousy, I feel that there is, there's been change that has been progressively growing in this relationship and not for the better. And I think that the more you resist it, the more you try to hold on to the partner, the more you try to uh, control the partner, it's almost like you're hindering the relationship and hindering yourself. Um, because instead of draw the, drawing them closer to you, you're actually pushing them. So again, be very careful with that Libra for the month of December. Now, in regards to your emotions, you do have the full card. So the full card could represent new beginnings. Now, I do want to put out there, for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship or a marriage, I feel that you're, you may be tested for this month. For some of you guys, it could be because there's a lot of doubt surrounding this relationship. Like I mentioned, perhaps some of you guys, it could even be like doubt of third-party situations. Um, but again, like I said, the more protective or the more you try to suffocate your partner, the more you try to know where they're at, you call them, they're not answering, and then you go on this crazy frenzy of texting nonstop, arguing, etc. Instead of helping them see the value in you, it's almost like you are pushing them away, further away from you, and giving them more reasons to be in the right 
to feel like maybe it's the right decision to step away from the relationship or to walk away from the relationship. Because the full card can also represent acting in a way or in a sense very foolish because you are losing control of your emotions and you're doing this out of desperation. And out of desperation, instead of bringing them closer, you're pushing them further away. So you have to be careful with that Libra. Now, for others of you, those of you guys that have been single or have, you know, currently are dating someone, but nothing serious, no long-term relationship, etc. Um, I feel that you may be tested in the month of December. And it could be because perhaps you're dealing with either a family dynamic where there is a toxic situation or a toxic person in the family dynamic. And it's almost like you have difficulty putting your foot down, Libra, and throughout resisting that, what they're doing now is they're taking advantage of your kind heart or they're taking advantage at the fact that you don't know how to say no. And the full card could be a very positive card, but I think that connected to these cards, the wheel of the year and the shadow side with the three of pentacles, I feel like you can't blame anyone else for being taken advantage of or for being taken for granted, Libra, because you're allowing them to do so. So you need to, again, like I said, put your foot down. And if this is a relative, a brother, a sister, even a mother or a father that is expecting so much from you, how much are you willing to sacrifice in order to make them happy? And if you say, well, I'm willing to sacrifice it all, then just be mindful that when it comes to relationships, family or what they believe in may actually become an issue when it comes directly connected to relationships. So again, it could be that of, you know, being very close to your family that they're so used to you being extremely available, but when you become or when you go into a partnership, it becomes an issue because you're no longer accessible or because you're no longer free with your money. You're not always there to help them out or get them out of a struggle, etc. So what they're saying is, if you're experiencing this right now, it's time for you to cut the links to that. Cut the cord. If you're a baby mama, <laughs> baby mama, sorry. If you are a baby, um, a mama's boy, sorry. If you're a mama's boy or if you're a daddy's girl, that's fine and dandy. But you need to understand that when it comes to relationship, when it comes to partnerships, when you get married or when you have children with someone, they take, unfortunately, they take a backseat because the family that you're building should be should be your focus. And when other people don't understand that, that's when it becomes an issue. Because I almost feel like you're being pulled towards different directions, Libra. And it could be for some of you guys, it could be uh, those of you guys that are not in a relationship, it could just signify being on the pursuit of building a career or building some type of financial gain but at the same time, while trying to do so, having to deal with toxic energy, having to deal with people that are solely depending on you or people that, like I said, are used to you being extremely available. And the wheel of the year is representing change. Um, but with this change, it's like there's resistance. Like you're not wanting that change or they're not wanting that change. So there is definitely you need to rid yourself or you need to set on your own path. The full cart is a journey, but it is also a representation of having the fear of letting go of everything and starting new, starting a new journey, starting a new path, walking your own truth. Now I'm going to be pulling out a card from the Moonology Oracle cards, and this is going to be your message directly from Spirit. So let's see what Spirit has for you, Libra. What is your direct message for the month of 
December 2019. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Yeah. So again, this is exactly what we're talking about here in this reading. I feel that tensions are going to run very high for the month of December for you, Libra. But I think that this has a lot to do with cutting the cords from everything that you've been either taught, everything that you've known to be true, and learning to be selfish sometimes, and learning to put yourself first. I think this is necessary. And it's necessary because through chaos, through craziness, through confusion, when everything settles, when the dust settles, you're able to see clearly. And a lot of the times we have tendencies of becoming very self-reliant on other people. And that's not good. That's not good for you. That's not good for those that you're getting used to them relying on you. Because what happens when you're no longer there? For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries. I hope you guys enjoy these messages. I hope you enjoyed this reading. For those of you guys that follow my Instagram, stay tuned as we will be doing uh, for the month of December. It's going to be December the 22nd at 7 p.m. California time. We're going to be going live and we're going to be providing for all of you guys uh, free one question readings. Uh, this is something we've been doing for the past two years, and obviously you guys enjoy that, which is why we're doing that. Also, we will be doing giveaways for this month of December, so you guys stay tuned. I will be announcing that on the next spell video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.